And welcome to Live at Five. I'm Melanie Lawson. Hello, I'm Art Rascone. We'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Tim Heller in just a moment. But first, we begin with shocking details tonight unfolding in a case where an 11-year-old child is now a mother. Yeah, it is an incredibly disturbing sexual assault investigation that has police using DNA tests to find the man responsible. Eyewitness News reporter Deborah Wrigley joins us live from Child Protective Services offices in Houston with more on this story. Deborah. The girl and her baby are both in the custody and the care of CPS, living with other relatives. The story is disturbing considering the age of the girl, but even more so considering the result of those DNA tests. We're not revealing his identity or photograph because of his relationship to the victim. He is 27 years old, married, now accused of fathering a child with his 11-year-old stepdaughter. The suspect is now being held in the Brazoria County Jail charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child. According to the probable cause affidavit, quoting, it states that on September 24th of last year, it was learned a child was found to be six months pregnant. The pregnancy was discovered by Alvin ISD personnel when she began to show signs of pregnancy and was given a pregnancy test that tested positive. She gave birth on December 12th by C-section at the age of 11 years old. The child's caregiver says the victim told her the suspect had been having sex with her since she was six years old until September when she was removed by CPS, saying they would have sex sometimes two and three times a week, end quote. It was a genetic test of the baby, investigators say, that identified the suspect as the biological father, and he was said to have resisted giving a DNA sample. And I obtained a search warrant and collected his DNA that way. And did he say, did he admit to it at some point? No. He still has not? No, he not to me. He still denies that the child is his? Correct. CPS says that the mother and the baby are both staying together until this case is resolved, again, staying with relatives elsewhere. From CPS, Deborah Wrigley, 13 Eyewitness News.